Hi, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna be talking about back to school supplies. And um, it's mid-August, so school's gonna be starting in a few weeks. And I have their back to school supply list for first grade and fifth grade. And as you can see, there's a bunch of goodies on there that I have to go get. And normally what I do is I'll go school shopping and get a little triggered and go a little crazy with all the really cheap school supplies and Target and Staples and just stock up like crazy. Uh, luckily, I have put all the extra stuff in here. So these are the extra school supply stuff that I bought from last year. Um, getting it dirt cheap, you know what I mean? Like the crowns when you can get them for like 25 cents and stuff like that. And basically getting it dirt cheap in case I needed to restock during the year. Uh, I didn't have to restock that much during the year. So what I'm going to do is before we go out and go actual shopping, I'm going to go through my stockpile that I had at least hoarded away neatly because it's all contained in this bin. So um, just to save a little bit of money and stuff like that, I'm going to go through this and um, see what I have, do my little check marks and, um, you know, using what I have up because I'm trying not to bring more stuff in, even though this is stuff that will eventually go to school, it's also gonna save me money because I already have it and to actually use what I hoarded, that would be um, ideal right now. So right now I'm just gonna sort through everything, see what I have and make a little checklist. Okay, so we went through the bin to see what we had for our supply list. And we did really good with the first grade supply list. We actually checked off a lot of those items. Um, so that was good that I already had it. And we did pretty good for the fifth grade list. It's a little more specific, but we did have some of the items that were needed and I was able to check off some of them. So I do have to buy stuff for, for his stuff, for the fifth grade list, but that's okay because I took a nice little chunk out, which is going to save me money when we go out today and finish off these lists but what's crazy to me is what i still have in this bin that it was not um needed and this is from previous years of me buying things because what happens is you know you can get the highlighters for like a dollar and you can get the glue things you know for 25 cents so i kind of go a little hog wild in there so the goal for today is while we're getting the supplies that are not checked off yet to not buy all these extra supplies for a quarter because I already have it. So that's gonna be the goal for today. Okay, so we're in Target right now, getting all the back to school stuff. And this is where I get triggered because it's 99 cents for markers, even though I already know that we have plenty of markers. And then it's 50 cents for the crayons over here, but I already have crayons. So this is where I am going to want to stock up to have because it's really dirt cheap but the goal is to not do that the goal is to just get what was left over on the list not get triggered by all the really cheap steals and just focus so that's what the goal is going to be for today okay guys so I got most of the supplies that were on their list there's only one or two things that I couldn't find here that I'll have to go to Walmart but I stuck to the list I got exactly what they needed I didn't get anything extra because it was cheaper for whatever reason there's no extra crayons there's no none of that so I'm really proud of myself that I just got what was on the list and didn't get any extra extra things that were like dirt cheap so now we're gonna go off to two more places which is five below and then uh, Walmart at five below because we had to get some more folders and stuff and we have to go get the cheap um, like ear sets and stuff and a new plug but again being in here it's like I want to get all the cute little things but they don't need it I can do this I don't need to buy all the cute little notebooks and little things like for even for myself but i'm staying on so now we're in the section where it's really hard like how cute is that stinking like pencil sharpener burger like this is stuff i go crazy over or like avocado and taco pizza pen pencils like that's so cute and i think most of it's because it's, this is stuff that i would love when i was a little girl and my kids would like it too but I mean, how cute is this stuff? And it's coffee pencil sharpeners. Oh my God, I can't. So we're gonna we're gonna have to get out of here soon because I'm not gonna be able to hold my own with all this cute little stuff like soda highlighters. How adorable is that? Okay, I gotta get out of here before I start like putting stuff in a bin and 
a bacon eraser. Yeah, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> all right, so we're all done. Our back to school shopping. We got everything off the list. We mostly got everything from Target and stayed on point. I below though, I didn't quite do as good and stuck to what I really wanted. I mean, we did get the earbuds that we needed and some folders and stuff, but I did end up getting that. And I couldn't say no to that. But overall, and of course, how adorable is that? I just couldn't say no to it. So this is why I have to stay out of my uh, trigger stores. These are stores that I just, I'm not ready to go into yet. But um, we'll get better with time. The, thing, the longer that I stay out of my stores, the better it will be. So thanks for watching. Glad we got all the school supplies. We just need to get backpacks. That's the last thing. They didn't like any of the backpacks. But I mean, overall, considering what I usually do, I'm going to do this as a, a success because the only thing that I kind of went over on were these little things. And luckily, they were only a dollar. So technically, I went like five dollars over what I should have. But um, overall, I did good. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.